welcome back everyone so uh, in the previous video we have seen how we can use for loops for various functions now in today's video we'll see uh, the examples which we have solved uh, in while loops videos we'll solve we'll try to solve those examples with for loops here now uh, so let's get started so here what we can do is uh, let's say we want to uh, add a sum of 10 number we want to uh, do the addition of numbers 1 to 10 so what we did in uh, while loop was like we, we, uh, we created a variable total equals to 0 we created an initializer that is 0 and afterwards then we uh, start the while loop that while c is less than equal to 10 what we do was total equals to total plus c and then we'll print the uh, total and then we'll again increase the value of c by 1 right so this will give me 0 1 3 5 55 okay i just want the final total so I, i'll just remove this line i'll simply print this statement uh, by executing after the uh, exiting the while here print total so I have you I have just converted into a command it will not be included in our code so it will print with the final result that is 55 right so this is how we write a code for uh, addition of numbers from 1 to 10 in while loop now let's do the same code in uh, for loop so what did we do in for loop we use range functions right so what we can do is so for i in range okay first i'll have to create here also that uh, variable any variable let's say sum zero i'm creating this variable uh, here total equals to zero i created here i created sum equals to zero because i need somewhere i need some space where i can store my uh, addition right so sum equals to zero i have created a variable and then i'll do for for i let's say for i in range now what my range should be is my range should be one to eleven because this way uh, it will start from 1 right I, I want the addition of 1 to 10 and that's why I want 11 because 11 is not included this will be including till 1 to 10 so for a 1 to 11 I just put a colon here then what I'll do is in sum I will addish, add the value of i then uh, then after I, after I write print sum let's see what is the output here great so we are getting it is printing me the sum after each step after each uh, for loop and my final result is print 55 now again i just want my uh, final result i don't want I, after, after the each after the each repetition of course so I, what i can do is just exit the for loop here and i'll write print sum great 55 is the right answer so let us understand how it is happening now initially the value of sum is 0 right so this is 0 plus now the initial value of i is what is i 1 right so 0 plus 1 so the sum it will uh, it now the sum is 1 now this sum now this sum has become equals to 1 now this sum is equals to 1 so it will come 1 plus i what is the value of i now 2 so it means 3 now the sum has become 3 sum has become 3 and after now that's in 3 that is sum but we are adding again i but now this time i is 4 so this is how this code is running and we will get the final output of 55 great now let us uh, do another example uh, we have also seen how to write a code for sum of n natural numbers in a while loop uh, what we did was we just created a variable let's say num and I'll just ask them ask uh, my user to enter any natural number enter any natural number great and I'll also have to convert it into an integer type because I'll have to do the addition right great now in while loop so my let's say again I'm creating a variable total equals to 0 and let's say i equals to 0 this time and while my value of i is less than equal to value of num what i'll do is total equals to total plus i and 
after that i'll increase the value of i to i plus one and after exiting the while loop i'll write the, i'll print the that total is my uh, variable which is storing my uh, addition so if i print this it will ask me a well it will ask me a natural number so let's say i write 100 this time and see it is uh, showing me the correct output of 50 50 i've already explained to you how this code is working in the previous video while loop now let's go for this code in a for loop as well what i'll do is i'll just create this uh, just copy this uh, variable in, in of input function where it is asking me to enter any value and now in for loop what i can go is for i in as i've told you earlier also what i can use here any anything it's not necessary that i'll have to use i i can also go for j i can also go for x so don't uh, don't bother about this i right so for i in range where i want to start my addition obviously i'll, I'll want to start from one right one and to where i want to go to uh, to, uh till what extent i want to go till my value of uh any value which user is inputting so it is inputting the value of num so what i'll do is here num is it, is it correct no it is not correct because if i'm writing one to num inside the range function it will be including these values of a one to num minus one so i'll have to add num plus one here because it now it will include the value of num now just uh, do one thing i forgot to here enter any uh, and uh, create the variable of sum let's say i create the variable sum equals to, this time let's say i do for addition i create this with by the name of addition so this after this loop in addition equals to addition plus the value of i i this i right then after exiting the loop what i'll write print addition so i enter my natural number 100 see it is giving me a value of 50 50 so what is happening here initial value of addition we have set it as a zero okay now for i in range one so when value of i is so here initial value of addition is say zero okay and our initial value of i is what is i initial value of i is one and so the initial now so now the left uh, let's the uh, let's uh, get started from the initial stage now what is happening is for i in range one so when when i value of i is one so what this addition becomes is what this addition becomes the initial value of addition that is zero and the initial value of i that is one so it becomes zero plus one that is one so now our addition value of addition is one and now our value of i is two so our value of this addition that is this addition what it becomes is two plus sorry uh, one plus two because one plus two two is the value of i three so this is way uh, in this way it will keep going on till 100 and hence we get the uh, final value that is a value of 50 50 great now uh, now I'll have, i have an assignment for you what you have to do is uh, you have to do this problem two times uh, one with the help of while loop and another other time with the help of for loop you what you do create a variable uh, with the uh, create a variable and using input function ask user any four digit pressure value in psi let's say uh, user input the value 2679 great now what you have to do is uh, you have to sum the all digits of this pressure value so if if i enter 2679 my pressure value so the you have to create a result that gives me the sum of each values that is 2 plus 6 plus 7 plus 9 so let's say if i input 1 2 3 4 as my pressure value so your final output should be the addition of 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 you'll have to you, you can do it without using uh, while loop or for loop but uh, this is your assignment in which you have to specifically do it in the while loop and for loop so uh so yes uh i'm looking forward to your submissions of this assignment at linkedin page of our petroleum from scratch uh, don't forget to tag us there and uh, i'll see you in the next video thank you for joining